From offending China by actively supporting a cause they were against, to being forced to fight a paternity case in court, here are Keanu Reeves' most problematic moments. It seems the star who's famous for his generosity has had his fair share of controversies as well, like how the John Wick star angered the Chinese last year and got his movie banned in the country. It all started when news came out that he'd decided to participate in the 35th annual Tibet House U.S. Benefit Concert, which was organized by Tibet House U.S. to maintain and safeguard the Tibetan culture. Even though the John Wick actor has never used his words to state such a thing, his action of taking part in the concert was enough for Chinese nationalists to call him out. But they removed his already available movies from Chinese streaming sites. This included The Matrix Trilogy, Speed, Something's Gotta Give, The John Wick Franchise, and The Lake House. What's even more shocking is that people now can't even find him on Chinese search engines. I mean, it's obvious how offended they were. They've literally removed him from the Chinese internet. Times Magazine revealed that Toy Story 4 was the only movie that wasn't removed, but funnily enough, it was tweaked to not show Reeves' name in the voice cast section of the credits. Wow. The Matrix Resurrections was about to be released at that time, and people all across China decided to withdraw from watching it in cinemas. China's movie market is pretty big, and it brings in a lot of numbers. Because of this, a lot of American movies are heavily promoted there. Sadly, the movie didn't really get the success it was looking for in the market at all. Things can escalate even more for Keanu if he's not careful. In the past, actors who've publicly taken on China haven't had favorable results with the country's viewers, which has really affected their ability to land successful roles. One of the major examples is Richard Gere, who also vocally supported Tibet and his movies got banned in the country. Because of this, Hollywood stopped offering Gear as many big roles. Even Brad Pitt got banned for 20 years because he acted in the movie Seven Years in Tibet. By the way, Keanu actually has Chinese lineage on his dad's side of the family. He's even acted in a co-produced movie between China and America called Man of Tai Chi. But it seems he doesn't really care about throwing that connection away. Another thing for which he was highly criticized was partying during COVID. What was he even thinking? This is a question that everyone's asked over and over again since the scandal broke. The biggest thing was that it went against all the restrictions put in place to prevent the disease from spreading. But not caring about that at all, the actor decided to attend a party with almost 200 people to celebrate The Matrix Resurrections being given a go-ahead for filming. According to The Guardian, the party took place in Brandenburg in Germany, and at the time, only 50 people were allowed to gather in one place. But even that was only allowed once the authorities had been informed beforehand, and the hosts had received approval to gather, keeping in mind the protocols of masks and sanitizers. But in this case, they threw the party by claiming that they were filming a movie. Reeves received a lot of backlash from people because even though he didn't throw this big party as one of the lead actors in the movie, he could have used his influence by not going, thereby making a statement. You know, for someone who comes across as a pretty responsible guy, this move was a pretty dumb one. He could have landed himself in a lot of trouble. The Matrix star didn't make any comment on whatever was being published about him on social media, and it seems his quiet nature really gets him out of a lot of messy situations. But one messy situation he can't get out of is his fair share of failed movies. In fact, according to Far Out, the only reason he's not famous for being a terrible actor is because his personality off-screen is adored by millions. Turns out the Far Out writer probably isn't the only one who thinks that way. Matthew Perry, who played Chandler on the iconic sitcom Friends, he took a dig at the acting skills of the actor by saying that the question he asks himself is why did original thinkers like Heath Ledger and River Phoenix pass away while Reeves still walks among us? Ouch! A close source to the Speed star revealed to Insider that he felt the comment was out of left field meaning that he was shocked at them. Perry received a lot of hate from the public for being rude, and because of that, he publicly apologized through Deadline, saying that there wasn't any personal bias behind the comment, and he just picked the first name that came to his mind, only because Keanu lived on his street. He later said that he'll remove the comment from any further copies of his memoir. Well, the way he put it might have been mean, but the man wasn't all wrong. Reeves has a lot of bad movies up his sleeves, and they do outnumber the good ones. 
Critics have thought that he's been very wooden, stiff, and emotionless in a lot of his roles. Some of his worst movies are Exposed, Siberia, Little Buddha, and even Cowgirls Get the Blues, and these are just a few. The storylines of these movies were completely trash, and so was his acting. And while he might be loved for his John Wick movies because of his craft, the actor has been blamed for promoting violence. The movies center around the story of a man who's out to seek revenge because his dog was murdered and goes on a rampage brutally killing tons of his enemies. The logic behind this is how a large population of his audience includes youngsters, and shootings at school have been increasing every year in the U.S. I mean, just days after the attack on Parkland, Brian Mast, a Republican, blamed the movies and video games, specifically pointing out the John Wick movies. He said that they show killing as normal, which numbs the viewers to that kind of violence, to the point that they grow up thinking of it as a game, rather than understanding the severity of the vile act. Even Columbine shooters Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold seem to have been very influenced by the way Keanu dressed in The Matrix with those long black jackets. A lot of people came out referencing the dressing styles and condemning the movies. The weirdest controversy was when a woman named Karen Sala claimed Reeves was the father of one of her four children. She wanted him to pay her child support and took legal action against him. Keanu said it was an awful experience, as she even went as far as saying that he put her in a trance, which made her think that Reeves was her husband. Her children even underwent DNA tests to see if they were a match to the actors, but the court later rejected the claims, as there was no reason to keep the trial ongoing when there was no solid evidence. So, from fighting a paternity case in court, to offending China by actively supporting a cause they were against, these were Keanu Reeves' most problematic moments.